Hello, people of the internet. Well, it is haul time. Um, I did a haul last uh, for June and July. So this is August and September. Although I did go shopping around some shops, which I did a video of, and I showed all that stuff in the video. And it's all been put away. And so that's not included in this August and September haul, even though it was bought in August, I think. Got my cup of tea. So... First of all, we're going to start off with the small Timu haul that I placed. I showed, uh, obviously, I've shown these. Everyone's seen these. These are the Prisma Colour pencils uh, that I bought from Timu. There's a whole video about them, um, which is up there if you haven't seen it. Um, and at the same time, I also bought a couple of things for our motorhome. One was a little timer. One was a little silicon-like thing for taking things out of the oven. They're both in the motorhome now. Um, and I also bought these two things as well. Now this is, you may be looking at it saying, you've already got one of those. <laughs> well, kinda. Um, when I first placed my first Timo order, um, I was trying to get, I was like £1.68 away from getting the next 20 pound off or whatever the, their coupons are. And so I stuck this in, which is a pencil roll. Sorry about all the rattling. Um, so it's a pencil holder that holds 48 pencils. And I bought it because of the pattern. I love the pattern. It kind of reminds me of Starry Night kind of thing. Um, and then I realised, to be quite honest, I don't really have... I've only got one set of 48 pencils, um, which I might put in there. But what I really needed was a 72 cheapo case because I want to put my Marco Rafines which are currently in one of those nice um, fold out cases that I don't use I want to put them in something so I bought one of these which is a 7 let's get the rattle out of the way 72 rolls so it's exactly the same it, but it holds 72 pencils um, no idea how much it was probably £2 something or whatever cheapo prices they are um, like I say I bought I mainly placed this order because I wanted to to buy these, which I I had seen they were ninety one pounds on Timu, uh, and if you spent over fifty eighty can't remember you got twenty pound off. So these effectively worked out seventy one pounds, and then I added that to it, uh, and then these paint brushes as well because I've been looking at similar paint brushes. Little let's get the rattle out of the way oh no it's double rattle because they're all individually wrapped sorry just smashed the camera anyway so yes i bought these off of timo these timo these were cheap <laughs> i can't remember how cheap but they've got like a one a size one a size two a size three a zero a triple zero a double zero, a five, a six, a four, and a seven. So I've been looking at a similar set on Amazon. Uh, they look exactly the same. They probably are at exactly the same because, uh, you know, Amazon and Timu are both sell the same Chinese took, don't they? So that's, I bought those from Timu. And then obviously, if you've seen my short video, I can't zoom out anymore. I also bought <laughs> these from Amazon. And this is purely to do a comparison video, which I have already filmed now. So you should see it before you see this, I think. Uh, at the same time as I bought these, because so many people were saying that my uh, Timu Prismas were probably made in the same Chinese factory as Artex, I finally gave in and bought the 126 set. Ooh, blurry as we get it out. There we go. Um, of Artex marker, uh, markers, they're not markers. They're pencils. Um, I do really like the uh, small set that I've got. And so many people have been saying to me, get the bigger set for science. <laughs> get the bigger set. And they was down at their, um, you know, they go down to sort of about 50. That's about as cheap as they go. They were down to that price. I also had a 25, 
£24 at Amazon voucher. So they ended up costing me like £26, which is not too bad. Um, though I say that, I bought nearly £200 worth of Prisma colours. But yes, so many people have told me to get them. Why is that sponge? Oh, my sponge was too high. I wondered why that was like that. There you go. I'm going to put them in a pencil case because as anyone who has these knows, this box is absolutely crazy. I'm going to put them in the same pencil case as my one as my other ones. So, finally got them, finally gave in. So, all them people who are saying, get them, you'll love them. I do like them. I know I like them. I just didn't need them. But then again, I don't need any more pencils. But that's it for the pencils this month. Woohoo! So, let's put all these to one side. Okay. So, next, next, I placed a... No, that wasn't next, but we'll call it next. No, let's do this one next. I placed an order with Jackson's. This is it. This is the, all that all that I ordered from Jackson's Art. It was because my husband was saying, "What do you want for your birthday?" Because <laughs> it was my birthday this month, and I was like, oh, "I don't know." And he said, "How do you fancy the Holbein pencils?" And I was like, "Oh, I don't really want another expensive set of pencils." And then there's a naughty lady on my um, channel, uh, one of my lovely subscribers called Lorraine. Um, who keeps asking me to measure the girth of pencils and that she just got the whole binds and I was like oh I, I might be tempted but I'm going to be good I'm not going to just get the whole binds for my birthday I'm actually going to buy three colors of whole binds first of all and try them before I buy before I commit to getting the set the problem is I'm probably going to like them so I bought these from Jackson's uh, I haven't actually used them at all because they came just before we went away on holiday. Actually, it's quite nice to be back at this desk because they're quite nice to be back at my desk because we have... September has been a really relaxing away from home month. Um, so the first... August was a nightmare. The first week and a bit was a nightmare and then uh, we went away in the motorhome for a bit and then I've been on holiday for... 10 days away from work and I've got two days left Woo anyway so yeah I wanted to try these so this is me <laughs> try them for the first time they you're right Lorraine they are girthy you can feel it in your hand that they are girthy hmm let's see how girthy they are eh let's do that get me girfo meter out Seven point eight two. How girthy is that? Is that as girthy as a prism cut? Um, a Derwin. So what's that one? Seven point eight four. Let's do this prism color. Not prism color. Ah, oh, no, a pro color. Eight oh eight. If you like girth, Derwin pro color. Anyway, didn't buy the pro colors. Bought three whole binds to to give them a feel. Do a. And the other thing I bought while I was placing the order from Jackson's Art was this, uh, the Melts Coloured Pencil Blender from Holbein. Uh, they do the liquid, uh, but this seems to be the same similar as the Derwin. No idea how you open these things. So much polythene. Doesn't need to be in polythene, does it? Could be in a little envelope. Or just as it is. A little tag around it. Right, so Made in Japan, Holbein, Holbein Coloured Pencil Blender. And I want to compare this to my... It's got a brush end that side and a round tip that side. Which So it's got two in one. It's much more expensive than the um, Derwin Pencil Blender. But will it be better? Who knows? So... That's what I bought from Jackson's, very, very small haul. And um, out of interest, I didn't get my, the whole binds for my birthday. Next thing that I bought is some paints from Renaissance Colours because Christmases are coming, the goose is getting fat. <laughs> I wanted to try their uh, Renee's Colour Shift um paints so i got the little samples the little dotty ones that you that you get 
Uh, so I got this Colour Shift Christmas Blizzard set. Believe, Rejoice, Noel and Peace. And I also got the Colour Shift Christmas Super Shifts. Because my theory is whichever colours that I like the best. Look at that, look at that. I mean, I can't see it on there very well. Let's take it. Oh, and I've got a freebie. I've got Advent 14 as a freebie in there. Just noticed that. I love the smell of these. They smell like clove oil. That does remind me of having a toothache. Can I get this out? Oh yeah, definitely a toothache. Oh look, loads of them came off there. They're quite soggy. That's interesting. Half that one's away on the bag. Look at that. At least I can try it, I suppose. Let's, let's get that out. Look, it's half my paints there. Stick it back on. I wonder why they're so sticky. Them ones are not sticky. Uh, stick it back together. Now I'm going to have to go and wash my hands because I've got paint all over them. Alright, let me go and wash my hands, tidy this up and I'll come back. Okay, I've put them back in the envelope. Let me put them in one of my little plastic boxes to keep them safe. I can put the others I've got with them then. They're now away. Yay. Okay. So that was from Etsy, from Renaissance Colours. So the next thing I bought was a little haul from Colt Pens, because Colt Pens had their summer sale. And I had been looking at these uni... What are they? They're the, the Uni Ball Signo. When I did my gel pen collection recently, I have the gold and the silver... They're in here, aren't they? Let's put this stuff to one side a minute. In this one. I thought they were, but they are not. Well, I can't remember. <laughs> but I've got the gold, silver and bronze of these. And white. Anyway. And these are the colours that I didn't have. And I was looking at a set on Amazon. And the set was, I oh don't know, £13 or something. And then these was in the Colt Pen sale for 30% off. So I thought, oh, well, I'll just buy the colours that I need. So I've got the blue, the green, the red, the purple and the pink. I'm not sure if that's the colours that they're called. But they look really nice. Let's have a, let's have a quick go on one. Oh, I'm quite looking forward to these because these are really nice metallic pens. That's the pink. That's the purple. Let's zoom you down a little bit as I'm doing this. And then I'll hold it up so that it glitters in the sunlight. That's the red. Oh, that's a nice colour. That's not really red. That's more like a burgundy. These would be nice for Christmas. Red, green and blue. These are really good quality pens you can feel the quality i wished signo uniball signo made glitter gel pens because they would be amazingly good quality you can feel the quality of the pen anyway that's all for these metal metallic pens there you go oh they're nice not too shiny not overly loaded with the the, the pink is a little bit Sometimes metallic pens are a little bit overloaded with silver metal looking. But they are them for are lovely, aren't they? Okay, so I bought those from Colt Pen. The other things I bought from Colt Pens were I bought the uh, a replacement erasers for my little Tombow uh, eraser. You've seen it in my uh, colouring. I'll put a picture here. Uh, colouring pencil case and I use it really a lot and I noticed the other day that when I wound it up I didn't have much left and these were also 30% off so that was a bargain and then the other thing that I got was two of these these are water brushes by Karen Dash and these are slightly different than any other water brush so if you know what a water brush looks like they have bristles on them because <laughs> they're a brush that takes water so bristles or you can get finer ones yeah, you, can get, you can get finer ones which are brushes as well 
These Karen Dash, Karen Dash ones are fiber foam nib. So they look just like the nibs in the um, blender pens. And my theory was stick a bit of water in this rather than, you know, blender fluid and, and blend out. Um, and it just feels like they'll be easier. And they've got this, look, they've got like a, just like a fountain pen plunger to get the water in. And then they've got a little push button to let the water out. So I bought two of them because they were reduced. I can't remember how much they were. And I know people don't like it when I say prices. It doesn't matter what the prices are. Okay, so it doesn't matter what the prices are. But they were reduced. They were in, you know, because obviously during the Colt Pen sale, they do a 20% um, off, every, you know, 10% off, 20% off, 30% off different brands. So everything I bought had 10 or 20% off. Um, and then the last thing that I bought in this in this envelope from Colt Pens was... Oh, poof, a 12 set of Proma, uh, polychromos pencils and the reason why I bought these was this lot was going to be about five pounds short of getting the free postage and the free po and the postage was going to be I think it was either 295 or 395 and these were in the sale for like eight pounds or something I've just gonna looked up the prices these were 10 pound 40 um, in their sale and I the postage would have been £3, so these ended up being £7.40 because I was going to have to pay £3 postage to get these. So if you take the £3 postage off of these, these only basically cost me £7.40. Now £7.40 for all the standard colours, you know, a dupli I, ha I have the full set of these. Um, and I also want to use these because uh, there is a person that I watch that does a uh, how to make well, you know, 144 colours out of, and I want to have a go at that with these pencils anyway. But I mainly got it, number one, to get the free postage. <laughs> Not really free postage though, is it? But whatever. To get it to the level where you get the free postage. You know what I mean. You all do it. Um, and then to get one of each, you know, tw 12 of the most popular pencils out of the Faber-Castell polychromos. Look, I didn't need them, all right? <laughs> but I bought them. Uh, these were five or each. Uh, just look these up. This was £2 something and this was £1.19 each, which is amazing. If I'd have bought all three of, all eight of the colours separately, it's cheaper than the set. But there you go. So that was from Colt Pens. Now, the other thing that I wanted from Colt, Colt Pens was I wanted a new Tombow blender pen. So you know the Tombow blender pen, they look like this. They have a brush at that end and they have a fine tip at that end and they are used for blending Tombow markers or a lot of people use them for blending out um, watercolour pencils. Most especially ink tents, they're particularly good for that. So I actually uh, had all this stuff in my basket. I didn't have the polychromos in that basket because I was going to buy a couple of these if they was in stock because their Tombows had either 20 or 30% off. And so I sent them a message and they didn't reply that night, but they replied in the morning. And this is the message that they put up. I know. So I instantly panicked and realized I had to go and buy these from somewhere. Uh, I know that from Kazart they're £3.49 and most places are £3.49, but I found somewhere online they are called the London Art Shop, or London Pen Shop. I'll put the details linked down below. And their Tombows were on special offer. I say special offer, I don't know if it was a special offer. It's their standard price for £2 something. And plus they had a 10% off for your first order. So these ended up being £2.14 each. And I bought... I bought 10. I bought 10 of them. I can't do anything by halves. The reason why I bought 10 of them was I actually want one for each blending out colour. So one for yellow, one for orange, one for red, one for pink, one for green, one for blue, whatever. So I was going to get six anyway. Um, and then when they, they said, Colt Pen said, that they were discontinued, which I don't believe they have been discontinued. Maybe Colt Pens have just discontinued selling them. I basically went and bought 10 of them, especially as I was only £2.20 
12 or whatever it worked out to be. Um, and if you spent over £20, it's where you got free postage. So these cost me nothing. And now I am set for life with the Tombow um, uh, brush pens. You know, the blender, water based brush pen. Whatever it's called. What is it called? It's called N00, <laughs> whatever. Okay, so I think that's all the little odd shops that I bought from. So next is Amazon. Right, Amazon, the bane of our lives. No, I have missed something. <laughs> I bought, um, okay, so it's not the end of the little art shops because what I also got was <gasps> these. Now I have the full set of the pan pastels, though I think I sold my extra deep tones. I got them years ago. Um, anyone who remembers me from my um, art journaling days will remember that I um, got these when my when we was looking after my father-in-law, who had now been gone for a few years. He gave me one Christmas. He gave me a thousand pounds and said, "Go spend it on what you wanted," and I went and bought the full set of these. Though, granted, this is the light Caesar the. You know the 20 sets, can't remember what they're called, but there's the lights, there's the normal colours, there's the deeps, and then there's the extra darks. Um, I went and bought, the, these cost £35 the set at the time. <laughs> so I bought the uh, light, the tints, the shades, the ones in the middle. Tints, tones, shades, extra dark, maybe. I actually sold the extra dark because they were way too dark. They all just looked really black. But So I have the full set of the pan pastels. And then last year for my birthday, my husband bought me the... Look, it's still in there, polyphene. One day I'll get enough time to play with all my lovely goodies, won't I? Um, he bought me the metallic ones, so these are the gold, the silver, and all that kind of thing. They sit up here. I do use this one quite a bit <laughs> for skies. Um, but I basically was looking for... A, I think it came up when I was looking for blenders or something, because Pan Pastel do a colourless blender. And then they do pearl medium and they do pearl me medium dark. So basically what you do, you add these to your existing uh, pan pastels. And I have I can't remember what the blender does. I did at the time when I was ordering them, but I can't now. And the pearl medium makes them pearly. So I thought, oh, I've got to try that. So it's my birthday month, remember, so I'm treating myself. So I bought myself those. I can finally put them up there with the other ones. And then the other thing that I bought was, I have um, sp spray fixative. I have the one by, I'll put a picture of it on the screen because I can't remember it at the moment and it's in my art cupboard. And you have to use it outside because it's, you know, quite toxic, I guess. So I was looking for a non-toxic um, spray fixative and I've read all about this one, uh, Spectrafix. Uh, it's made, for, it's made, so the odour free, non-toxic, all national, all natural, all media. And it says perfect for soft pastel, pan pastel. Now this was quite expensive, 20 pounds or something online. Um, and then I saw it somewhere going, well, it's from the art discount. Let's have a look, let's open the receipt and it see, oh, it doesn't tell me. <laughs> it doesn't tell me how much it was, it was just a packing list. But anyway, it was a better price on that. And then even though this is supposed to be quite a good sprayer, Lots of people who use this recommend using these spray bottles. Now, I don't know if, if, if you guys have seen these spray bottles. You probably have because I'm so behind. But these are a mister <sighs> rather than a spray, uh, spray bottle. So you know when you spray these things, the spray comes out and can be a bit blobby. It's not a mist, is it? Um, they recommend getting this, which is, you know, decant some of this into this and then... <sighs> missed it to set it so i'm really looking forward to um some of my pages that i've used pan pastels on to actually use in this fixative on them and i'm going to use the mist thing i'll do a video about it because um i'm as interested as you so no you might be as interested as me look we're all interested in this kind of stuff otherwise you wouldn't be watching me so yeah so that was a really interesting fun thing to play with let's put that up there my pan pastels it's nice when you're able to put things away finally isn't it all right now we can move on to the dreaded amazon the bane of all of our lives so the first thing i got was a one more pack of these i have taken away my 
here, just here, I'll put a picture in so you can see, I have um, a big stack of these. So um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 40 of them. And uh, 40 trays. And in them, I did have my 100 and whatever it was, um, oh hoo hoos my 168 joy wishes and then at the top I had various different ones now I've taken out my 120 50 60 80 whatever it was um 180 isn't it anyway I can't remember oh hoo hoos and I've got them in a travel case now and they go in the motorhome when I travel in the motorhome which I'll show you in a video actually did I show that case I think I did didn't I probably and then what I wanted to do is I wanted to put my full 320 set all together on my desk in front of me as like a beautiful wall of um, pens. And I was six, I wasn't six trays short, I was four trays short. And I was like, I'm not paying £20 for four trays. Somehow I've got to find a different solution. So you saw me trying to listen to different solutions. I bought that oh hoo hoo wooden thing, not the right solution. I bought them cheap polystyrene put together not the right solution though they are quite good to hold that 180 120 whatever it was pens for the money and then these went down to 13 pound 49 and i thought okay pull the trigger buy the last four that you need it's actually six isn't it because it come they come in sixes so now i have enough trays to do to put all my oh hoo hoos out which i'm really excited about finally getting it getting them all out in one big thing and um yeah finally getting that done okay so the next thing i'm trying to show i'm not showing you in the order of purchase i'm showing the order of things first and then we move on to books yes these are gel pens these are more gel pens but i didn't actually look at the size of this case it's huge i didn't get the polythene off right seen the polythene let's get it off i didn't actually buy these for the gel pens i bought these for the case and that's because i saw someone with a pen case that did this okay so that comes out and you get so that sticks in there you get this one holds whatever that one holds but i think this one is double yeah yeah, so it comes out and then we've got boop, 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 boop. Don't know how many that is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So 2, 4, 6. That holds 60. And this holds 20. So it holds 80. Lovely. But what I liked about it was I wanted to get one of the cases because I wanted to use it so that, you know, when you're using pens, and I actually had this set and another set same case but with water based markers in it both in my basket and i was like whatever one goes down reduced because you know how it is on amazon you put something in your basket it's 30 pound and then next week it's 22 pound and then with a 10 percent coupon on it so i thought right i'm sticking both in my basket and i'll just watch and whichever one goes down cheapest whether it be the gel pen one or the water based marker one i'm going to get because i wanted this configuration of case i wanted to be able to it's like that little book came with a little book that's a disney lettering that is on that isn't it hmm. um yeah, I wanted this little configuration of case because I wanted to be able to put the pens in it like that. I like this. It's not one of them magic things. So yeah, basically I want to use this for my other pens. But I will give these a swatch. They're not my favourite type of pens because they are not all glitter gel pens. They are you know, pastel and neon and metallic and I'm sure there's probably swirls in there. Oh, yeah, there is swirls. But the good thing about it is they are well labelled. So they've got really metallic O10. So I will swatch them out and give them a review. And um, they're good quality by the looks of things. And you get the refills. Actually, let's put that that way. Bit of a faff getting that back in there though, I must say. Oh, they revive. Did it that way first, it maybe wouldn't be such a faff. 
you get the refills and they're all nicely labelled look <gasps> nice yeah, and at the time when I bought these I'll put the price on the screen because I can't remember because it was a while ago they were reduced if you are interested in buying them put them in your basket and wait because you know what Amazon's like don't just rush out and get them you know oh 32 pound let me buy them no stick them in your basket wait they'll have 20% off or a 20% coupon within you know two weeks or something okay so that's all the rest of the things that I bought from Amazon so now we're going to go on to the Amazon books so this first one I am blaming Maureen cross stitch button for because we was chatting on Instagram and she said she was talking about mandala books and she said oh I really like Nicola Lehman books I was like never heard of Nicola Lehman books and I went out a look and there was like um I don't know at least four there was probably more and I was like oh I've never looked seen them before and um so I was very good in my old days I'd have just bought one two three four five six stick them in my basket let them all arrive I didn't what I did is I went and had a watch on YouTube or flip throughs of all of the different uh, Nicola Lehman books and I chose this one to play with to try and I must admit I do like it I like the fact that it's a square format I you know I, I really don't like it when you buy the mandala mandala why am I saying mandala again mandala books that are A4 size and then they've got that in the middle of it so you've got all white either side of it so I do like the square format and I also like the fact that they've got borders around them which is actually what it says mandalas with beautiful borders so I'm looking forward to playing with this one I feel like it's a gel pen book so I like the small small bits I always like ones with small bits so I really like that so thank you Maureen for uh, making me go and have a look at this artist the next one I got, and I have shown this in my um, Shop My Stash video. I had this in my basket for, I could say a long time. A long time in my world is like a month. <laughs> um, but when I had been colouring in the fairy book, the fairy, you know, you know the fairy book, I'll put a picture here. That's made by Top. And I thought, I wonder, I actually quite like the paper. And I thought, I wonder what else Top books top do and I went and had a look and I went and watched flip throughs of them because that's what I do now to try and persuade myself not to buy everything under the sun and um I found this one and I watched a flip through of it and I was like I'm quite interested in this one you know because one of the things that I want I have done before and I want to do more of is I want to do um single not single color like two color pictures where so all black background and you know red <laughs> patterns you know like damask kind of print and i have tried to do it in a mandala book i have done it in a mandala book and i'm going to have it here to show you as well it's in this one that i did a yeah there it is Whoop. no there, that's not it but it does look similar to that from behind there there we go I have done that in a mandala book and that's the kind of thing I want to do again this is all this is all this is actually not even colouring pens this is like normal gel pens that you get in the office <laughs> a black one and a red one and I wanted to do this red and black because I was inspired by the background of Taskmaster and I've wanted to do that again but it's, it's hard finding the right mandalas that have the pattern correct to do it so that like, you couldn't do it here because if that was red that was black you know it wouldn't work kind of thing so i've been looking for sort of like a damask print kind of thing and this one looked like it had the most options so look this could all be black this could all be red um i'm not so fond of that one because it's a bit big and blobby i'm definitely not fond of that one but one's like that you could do keep clicking to that that one's like that you could do so in the end i decided to buy it <laughs> so it's in my it was in my basket from up like i say and then i then i bought it the next one i bought um was tiny animals i actually have two of them because i have bought one for my brother's uh towards my brother's christmas present this was a new jade summer book book that came out and when jade summer books come out the new ones they come out and they're only 3 99 and this one is really cute look at it so i thought oh i wanted it for myself 
and because it's a nice one to colour in with alcohol markers reminds me I like the thick lines the cute images and I thought oh my brother's going to really like that as well and Christmas is coming so it's time to start putting things away in the cupboard ready to pull out so I got him one as well so two editions of Tiny Animals by Jade Summer next obviously <laughs> You know, an R.J. Hampson book comes out, you've got to get it, haven't you? That's the rules. Um, so I bought the new R.J. Hampson book. I love his artwork. I remember when I first saw an R.J. Hampson book, no one was talking about it. It was the, was it the steampunk or the pirate ship one? And I kept looking at it and I was thinking, oh, I might get that. Mm, I might get that. And I didn't. And I looked online and no one was doing, you know, flip throughs of R.J. Hampson books. And then I remember Lucy did, um, Lucy just had colours did a flip through one of his books or did a colour in one of his books one of his early ones and I remember her saying that he didn't do the artwork he you know it and I was like he does do the artwork I've been looking at these books for like three two or three months literally I went and had to look him up and saw that he illustrates children I think I even put that in Lucy's video I put you know in a comment he's an illustrator he illustrates children's books he's absolutely his artwork and then I don't know we're a year on from that now Everyone loves R.J. Hempson and everyone knows he's a, an illustrator and he's, you know, he's a fabulous illustrator. Why anyone would have thought that he didn't do these artwork? I don't know whether, I don't know whether they thought there was, he was AI or something, but absolutely not. So, yes, I got the new R.J. Hampson book. Uh, next. Okay, so this is the first French book. I know a lot of people buy these French books that I've ever bought. And it was a weird situation why I bought this one. I was looking through my Amazon affiliate thing. And the Amazon affiliate thing shows you what people have bought, you know, using your link. And I was like, oh, what's that? What's that book? Surrounds de Monde. That sounds interesting. So I clicked on it and I was like, oh my God, that looks lovely. It, it reminds me a little bit, the format, the style of Denise Clare. Uh, the illustrations are not quite as, um, I guess say fun, but you know, comedic as, as Denise Clare. But the paper is nice. The format is nice. So I bought it. So yeah, it's, my, it's by Diane Dufour. I just think it's really cute. Look at this. Look at this mermaid sitting here. She's a, obviously from Asia. She's got Asian writing. This is because this is called obviously um, Mermaids of the World. And so there's another one there. I don't know where she's supposed to be from. But I do like the fact that they're sort of like they're all mermaids. Look at that one. That's beautiful. That's all her hair. Can you imagine colouring that? And then there's another Asian one, look, with the cherry blossom in the background. I love that. I love the sort of mix of the round the world and the cuteness. This is a Greek one, look. I love it. What a great book this is. So, bought that. So thank you whoever bought it using my link that then made me go and see it. <laughs> Next, I bought this. Um, I wished I hadn't. Um, I am putting it out there now. I'm not buying any more colour by number books. I don't enjoy colour by number books anymore. I have plenty. And I saw this one and I saw the flip through of it and I thought, oh, it's cute. I'm going to buy it. Um, and then when my mum and brother come round, um, they can colour in it because it's, it is a cute one. So I ordered the black background as I always do. And this turned up. And this is not the black background. And I know that some people love doing these ones. And they do the outlines in silver or black and they enjoy it. But to me, I look at that and it looks like a dot to dot or something. I really do not like it. <laughs> I look at it and I think, I can't work. I just can't. just does not work with my brain. And I wished I had got the black one because it is cute images. But... To me, this was a sort of like, you know when there's like the straw that breaks the camel's back that says to you, no more. So I basically um, went through Amazon and said, you've sent me the wrong one, you've sent me the one with the white background, and they said, don't need to send it back, just keep it. And I was like, Ugh. so, um, and then I w they said, keep that one, and then just order the right one. I didn't order the right one, because I just decided that this was, this was a sign that don't buy any more colour by number books. 
with regard to this one if you're still watching at this point and you live in the uk and you really like doing this kind of color by numbers where you've got the edge that you have to color in um let me know and i'll send it to you so um yeah just send me a message on instagram and if you're the first person to ask i will send it to you because um yeah i didn't i i don't want it okay and then the next two books i think that no i was gonna say that's the end of it but we've got my birthday stuff so we've done timu we've done the other company we've done amazon now we've got my birthday stuff because it was my birthday month so the next but the next two books i got were sent to me for review um one is by Belba family and one is by Kira, colouring Kira. <laughs> so let's have a look at the Stone Maze 8 book first of all. Um, this is book 15. I did actually ask the Belba family not to send me any more books because I, I have enough of this type of colouring book. But I do like the small size format. I prefer the small size format than the big size format. Um, I don't like the fact that there's a picture of a spider <laughs> and um, you know I'm not going to waste my pens to colour a picture of a spider but yeah it's um, it's the new Stone Mayor's Ache by the Bilber family and then the other one I was really uh, excited to receive an email from Kira she said oh I'd like to send you a copy of your my colouring book for to review and everything and I was like oh my word yeah I'd really be because I have you know I have um a couple of colouring books by this lady and you know this is the colour by colour book and then this is a colour by number book and this is you know this is generally what her style is kind of like the nice you know I've coloured in it I enjoy it I've got the spring one as well I've got a few others and I was like, yeah, I'd be honoured. I'd be honoured. And then um, this is the book that I was sent. So this is her new book, I assume. It's called Relaxing Flowers, Colouring Book for Adults, Women. And it's very basic. I will say it's a very basic colouring book. Um, I was going to say I might offer it to... Oh, <laughs> there's the thing that says a gift from Kira. Enjoy your gift. Relaxing Flowers, Colouring Book... Uh, for adults, women, simple and easy minimalist boho colouring book. Yeah, that's what it says on the on the description. It's I think my mum might like it. It just doesn't feel that you know it's not quite the same as Kira's other books, but there you go. So I might I'm gonna offer it to my mum. If my mum doesn't uh, want it, then I will um give it away which is what i usually do lovely so all that's left now is what i got for my birthday so first things first the lovely maureen she sent me a box and my box turned up and it was before we went away on holiday before my birthday and i undid it because she has sent the dog's presents before and i did thought it might be a dog present and I undid it and there was a card in there which I forgot to take away on holiday with me because I decided to open the card while I was away and I opened it there was also a big box of Frere Rocher but these were bought to me for my birthday by Maureen so she bought me the other Crystal Vogels book which I had was um and knowing about whether I was going to buy it I had said multiple times I needed to colour in the other one first before I bought this one to see whether I liked it and then I literally made a video saying I do like colouring it I really like it the day that this arrived and I actually said in the video I'm going to put it on my Amazon wish list for my husband to buy and I did that morning and then about an hour later the doorbell rang and this was in it sent ahead of me even saying on online that I wanted it so that lady is a mind meld with me so she bought me this which is beautiful absolutely love it she also bought me the <laughs> magic mouse springtime one which I think I even I must have said on the video there's a new one out and I'm not going to buy it because I've got enough magic mouse one I'm not going to complete my collection but Maureen has completed my collection for me so thank you Maureen and then this <gasps> another clara markova this is the second one that i have and maureen has bought me both of them which i think is amazing and literally thank you so much maureen boom, 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 boom. um i am still scared to color in them i've got all the little bits and bobs in here 
what I've got secrets from the fairy garden what's the other one I've got fairy celebrations I've got that one so nice the colorings are, the pictures are very similar aren't they to the um, crystal vogels I'm, too, I'm scared to uh... look that is amazing oh my this is such a beautiful birthday present beautiful paper in these when I'm when I'm old enough and talented enough <laughs> I will colour in these now I'm not so into I'm really into my pencils at the moment loving pencils I remember Emma colours about two years ago when I was really into um, alcohol markers and um, colour by numbers she said to me uh, yeah, we all start that way. She said, eventually you uh, you move on to pencils and then you never look back. You grow out of alcohol markers and colour by numbers. And I was like, I'm never going to grow out of colour by numbers. But she was right. Oh, there's gold on that. Isn't that beautiful book? Thank you so much, Maureen. Okay, the next uh, book I actually got from my brother for my birthday. He bought me a million little monsters. I don't have a million little monsters. Um, I did say I wasn't going to buy any more Lulu Mayos. But this one is cute, I must admit, and I, did, I was tempted, and um, you know it's the, the right sort of price range for my, for my brother to buy me for my birthday. So, yep, got that. And the next things I'm gonna have to, well, okay, hold on. Okay, so I am gonna have to take you downstairs to show you the rest for my birthday. Um, we was away, and on the day of my birthday, we went into Canterbury, and I went to. Coley, Cowlin, Cowlin and Will Cox the art shop and my husband said you can buy whatever you want now there wasn't actually much in there that I didn't have that sounds terrible you know they had some great prices on some things um, so one of the first things that I bought was this and I'm showing you a picture of it because it's too big to put here um, these were reduced massively. I already have a small one of these that I've got from the range or the works or some shop. Uh, I know it was about 20 pounds. And this one by Cowlin and Wilcox is so much sturdier and so much well made. And it was reduced from 44 pounds down to 15. <laughs> and I bought it. And one of the reasons that I bought it was number one, I wanted a sturdier one. It's got rubber feet, so it doesn't move like my existing one does. But the other thing that I wanted to use it for is that I wanted to use it to put a jigsaw board on at a slope. Because right now I'm right back into my jigsaws. Um, which I did get a lot of jigsaws for my birthday. But I'm not going to include them in this video because I know that not everyone likes jigsaws. And I'm just going to do a separate jigsaw haul. So if you're into jigsaws you can watch that. And if you're not you don't have to watch it. But the other thing that I bought while I was in um, Cowling and Wilcox... <laughs> Uh, was these these are was reduced 25 down to 17.99 and these are pouring mediums and I have been playing around doing a little bit of um, paint pouring I want to do it like a big canvas but I've been doing some like over some stones and bits and pieces like that like when my family come round and I've been doing it with I had some old uh, acrylic medium which is a bit too runny it's not real pouring medium and I was mixing colors with it and I was using that so I saw these going cheap and I thought it's my birthday literally it was my birthday I can have whatever I want so I'm buying these so it came from gold well I, I didn't buy them I got them for my birthday gold black teal purple white and red I think that's what it says there yep and then I was looking when I got back to where we were staying on holiday I got back and I, I looked these up on Amazon and they were more expensive on Amazon but then I got recommended these <laughs> now these are smaller bottles I think these are only half the size these are 68 uh, 34 colors in here and they are let's, shall we open them they're gonna be little bottles like the uh, let's open them let's get all excited and open them I know that these are not really coloring related but they're craft related. Oh, oh. There we go. Pull the feet off. And these are going to be much smaller. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but these look nice, don't they? 
I wonder how much more liquid they are than the standard bottles. I was like, that's solid in there, but that's a little stuff. I'm not going to open these, because you know if I open these, it's literally going to go all over my desk. Though if I do open them, at least it will be a... They stand. Look at, look at that. And look at that beautiful rainbow of colours. Oh, can't wait to play with them. My family are coming around in a couple of weeks for an art day, so we'll have a play with them then. At least if I did, like I say, at least if I did spill that one over the desk, it would be the right colour. So I also got those. These were reduced on Amazon. They were, at the time I got them, they were twenty-two pounds, I think. Twenty-two pounds for thirty-four colours of paint is, you know good value anyway so I've got some pouring mediums to play with to go with my um, uh, A3 board that I got so that's it I think I'm just looking around to make sure I haven't left a stack of stuff anywhere else uh, Amazon, cult pens, gifted stuff, birthday stuff yeah I think we're done and I think to be quite honest that is quite enough like I say I will do a separate jigsaw um, haul because uh, I've got quite a few jigsaws for my birthday because I'm into jigsaws again at the moment and the next video you'll see after this one will be my completed pages for August and September and so yeah thanks everyone for watching and take care and like I say if you're interested in that book and you're in the UK just drop me a DM on Instagram so thanks for watching everyone and bye!